Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a pop-up that says that there is an issue with Windows System 32 desktop that it refers to a location that's unavailable. So hopefully in this tutorial I'll be able to address it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off calling the start button one time. Type in run, so R-U-N. Best match should come back or run. Left click on that one time. So in this open field, you want to go ahead and type in system32. Exactly, it appears on my screen. So S-Y-S-T-E-M 32. Left click on OK. Once you're in system32 over here, you want to go ahead and open up the config folder. So C-O-N-F-I-G. Double click on that. It says you don't currently have permission to access this folder. Left click on continue here. You might need to have administrator permissions on the computer, so just keep that in mind. You should be doing this in an admin account. So once you are in here, you want to double click on the system profile folder. And now you want to create a folder within here, so you're going to might have to click on continue again. So as I was saying, now that we are in here, you want to go create a folder named desktop. So right click, left click on new, and then left click on folder. Call this folder desktop. D-E-S-K-T-O-P, hit enter, and you want to make sure desktop is capitalized. So it might say a destination already contains a folder, we're going to just do yes. So you could also delete the file folder as well, or and then just create it, whatever you prefer. If the first method of merging doesn't work for you, you guys are more than welcome to just recreate it. So you could just delete desktop file folder and then create a new one. You can merge it, whatever you prefer. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Restart your computer and hopefully anything on your desktop such as hidden files should be available after you reboot your system. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.